Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Jyoti Man, lecturer, of physical education from School of Excellence, Rohini, Sector Seventeen. I would like to teach you today a sports uh, nutrition, and we have some learning objectives here. What are the learning objectives? Learning objectives are what we have achieved at the end of this chapter. So we have a uh, three. sub indicators these are like balanced diet and nutrition first what are macro and micronutrients second one is nutritive and non nutritive component of diet and third one is eating for weight control a healthy way the pitfall of dieting food intolerance and food myths these are a learning objective first is balanced diet what is balanced diet a complete food a diet contains a adequate amount of all the necessary nutrients required for proper growth and maintenance of the body see what what is the complete food of diet complete food uh, is having a all nutrients in equal amount of protein fat and carbohydrates and nutrients are the substances that provide nourishment and essential nutrients includes a carbohydrate protein fats vitamins minerals fibers and water so uh, it should be planned according to the individual body types and how it will be planned according to the age gender and the body weight of the individual and it depends on the activity level of the person eating habit of the individual and the, the type of food included should be varied person to person according to their bmi see what we have seen here in picture the proper and equal distribution of protein fat carbs and all the dairy product see here like as we can see these are the fat and sugar pulses and dairy and fruit and vegetables and cereal and millet cereals and millet uh, millets uh, here represent a carbohydrate fruits and vegetable pulses and dairy represent a uh, protein fat and sugar uh, represent here as fat so this is a complete picture of balanced diet balanced diet uh, which i have been told you earlier that balanced diet contains the proper amount of each nutrients like carbohydrate fat protein etc is called balanced diet and a diet which consists of all the essential food constituents protein carbs fats vitamin minerals water in correct proportion is called balanced diet a balanced diet contains sufficient amount of fiber and the various nutrients carbohydrate fats protein vitamins mineral to ensure a good health food should also provide the appropriate amount of energy and adequate amount of water so what what i would like to uh, tell you that that uh, the balanced diet is the proper amount of nutrient and equal and the correct distribution and the proportion of the each nutrient like carbohydrate fats protein water minerals are called balanced diet see what is nutrition nutrition kya hai it is the process of obtaining and consuming food or breaking down food and substances taken in by the mouth to use for energy in the body combined with physical activity and nutrition help you to reach and maintain a healthy weight ye 
ऐसा प्रोसेस है कि हम खाने को जैसे खाते हैं कंज्यूम करते हैं और फिर ब्रेकिंग डाउन करते हैं फूड को जो भी हम खाते हैं रोज उस एनर्जी जो भी एनर्जी हमारी बॉडी लेती है और क्या हम उसको किस फिजिकल एक्टिविटी के साथ कंबाइन कर रहे हैं न्यूट्रिशन उस चीज को हेल्प करता है यू टू रीच टू मेंटेन अ हेल्थी वेट गुड न्यूट्रिशन इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ लीडिंग अ हेल्थी लाइफ स्टाइल यस ऑफकोर्स इफ यू आर लीडिंग अ पुअर न्यूट्रिशन इज इन योर डाइट डेली सो वट वुड बी द रिजल्ट रिजल्ट वुड बी दर डिटोरेशन ऑफ द हेल्थ एंड Uh, weakness fatigue all the time so good nutrition is very important for your healthy lifestyle so nutrition is the study of nutrient food which i have been told you earlier that what are the nutrients so so nutrition is the study of nutrient foods are like carbs fats protein vitamins and how the body uses nutrients और कैसे बॉडी इन न्यूट्रिएंट्स को यूज करती है और कैसे रिलेशनशिप बनाती है डाइट हेल्थ के साथ और डिजीज के साथ ये तीनों तीनों चीजों का रिलेशनशिप न्यूट्रिशन है सो न्यूट्रिशन कैन बी व्यूड फ्रॉम अ सेवरल पर्सपेक्टिव सो इट इज अ साइंस व्हिच डील विद द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ फूड इन रिलेशन टू द वेलबींग ऑफ अ पर्सन की ये डील करती है कि जो भी खाना आप खा रहे हो रोज की लाइफ में दैट इज योर न्यूट्रिशन सो इट स्टडीज हाउ फूड अफेक्ट द बॉडी एंड प्रोवाइड एनर्जी थ्रू न्यूट्रिएंट्स सो न्यूट्रिशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर डेली लाइफ स्टाइल एंड देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन that are macronutrient and micronutrients what are the macronutrients as uh, the macro describe itself the bigger big nutrients which need a larger amount in the diet nutrients that are required in larger amount in the diet are known as macronutrients like carbs protein fat water and it helps to provide energy promote growth and development and regulate body function and what are the micronutrient nutrients that are needed in small quantity jin ki zarurat hame roz ek smaller quantity mein hoti hai through they are as indispensable jo ki bahut hi zyada zarurat hai hamari health ke liye jaise ki vitamins and minerals it helps to enable chemical reaction micronutrients are always helps to enable chemical re- reaction they helps to maintain a body temperature and the micronutrients are like vitamins and the minerals which our body needed as as indispensable for our health and the macronutrients are carbs protein fats and water which our body needed in larger quantity that are micro nutrient see we have here a chart of a uh, component of diet see um component of diet see macro micro macro has uh, four indicators here three and the fourth one is your carbs fats and proteins micro has a vitamins and minerals protein first is protein protein refer as a cell growth and repair these are the muscle um, building block fat insulation and long term energy fat is the fat is also the source of energy and the carbs are also a richest source of energy water is also responsible all chemical reaction in our body which also enable to uh, help the enzyme in chemical reaction in our body vitamins cannot be made by the body so that these are essential to taken in a diet so minerals have very specific 
body function which we'll uh, discuss uh, later on the next to next slide so second uh, one is uh, carbohydrate and the first macronutrient here carbs so carb what are the carbohydrates carbohydrates are organic compound which are the primary source of energy they known as a energy giving food and are made of small and simple sugar that enters the body as glucose carbohydrate consists of carbon hydrogen and oxygen see carbohydrate are also made up of sugar starch and uh, cellulose so carbohydrate has two form or two type simple and uh, complex if we take excessive diet of carbs so it will be risk to our health condition such as coronary heart disease hypertension diabetes obesity and straw and if we less if we take an uh, less diet of carbohydrate in our diet regularly so it will be resultant in a loose skin weight loss weakening of the body and fatigue so carbohydrates are found in wide variety of both healthy and healthy foods bread beans milk popcorn potatoes cookies bananas spaghettis soft drinks corn and cherry pie these are the sorts of carbohydrate so carbohydrate has uh, two types these are simple and uh, complex carbohydrate simple uh, simple carbohydrate has a monosaccharide and disaccharide so monosaccharide uh, has a glucose fructose and galactose and disaccharides is maltose lactose sucrose and the complex has a uh, polysaccharide polysaccharide is fallen in uh, this category of three types the starch fiber and glycogen so um simple carbohydrates uh, are formed by a smaller chain they are crystal water soluble and give give food a sweet taste example glucose fructose and galactose and complex carbohydrate also known as polysaccharide are formed by the longer chain such as starch dextrin glycogen and cellulose simple carbohydrate are formed by smaller chain which i have been told you earlier see glucose fructose galactose uh, sucrose maltose and lactose and what is this point disaccharided this is the simple simple carbohydrate are in foods such as table sugar and uh, syrup and monosaccharide are simplest form of uh, sugar and the basic unit of carbohydrate and disaccharides what are the difference between both of them the disaccharide are the double sugar or when two uh, monosaccharide are joined as become a disaccharide so we have the example for simple carbohydrates uh, are table sugar and syrup and polysaccharide i told you that complex co carbohydrate a longer chain of sugar molecule are present in food such as bread and pastas so next slide uh, is about protein protein are substances that have carbon compound hydrogen nitrogen oxygen there are 20 amino acids out of which nine amino acids must be obtained from the food we eat protein are known as the building block of life and responsible for the growth and the maintenance of the eye skin hair nails organs and muscle tissue protein can be obtained from meat and meat product like dairy product vegetable pulses 
soybean, mustard, dry fruit, whole grain and nuts. Animal protein is considered more powerful than vegetable uh, protein. It involves in the production of hormones, enzymes, tissue and regulation of water and acid balance in the body and transportation of oxygen and nutrient and nutrient deficiency of protein may lead to disease like marasmus and quashiorkor and health condition agar hum protein ki matra apni diet mein kam kar dete hain to hame marasmus jaisi disease quashiorkor jaisi disease ho sakti hai basically protein hame uh, muscle मास के लिए हम यूज करते हैं जो कि रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है हमारी ग्रोथ एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द मसल मास आई स्किन हेयर नेल्स इनटेक ऑफ मोर प्रोटीन देन योर बॉडी रिक्वायर इट रिगर्स द हार्ट प्रॉब्लम वेट गेन एंड द लीवर डैमेज सो व्हाट वी हैव इन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड fat fat also called lipid are composed of the element carbon oxygen and hydrogen fat are a backup energy source fat are also responsible for providing energy to our body in fact they provide more energy than the carbohydrate and it gives the 9 calories per gram of the energy in the diet all right it regulate the body fat temperature boost hormone production fat are very essential for the absorption of the vitamins a d e and k in the body butter cheese oil are all example of fat rich foods fat are classified into saturated fat polyunsaturated fat and mono unsaturated fat and animal sources of fats are the dairy product like milk soybean mustard oil butter curd ghee fish oil meat and eggs vegetarian source coconut soybean mustard oil cotton seed and dried food etc so fat these fats have a tendency to the raise a level uh, to raise the level of uh, cholesterol in the blood stream and heighten and heighten the risk of getting cardiovascular disease so we have to be um, limit our uh, highest richest source of fat in our diet we have next slide so type of fat type of fat as we can see the first uh, saturated unsaturated and trans fat saturated again has two types mono unsaturated and poly unsaturated and poly has two omega 6 and omega 3 See, fat is the richest source of energy, as everybody know this. And uh, what are the saturated fat? Where the saturated fat is come? It tends to come from animal source, processed food, dairy product, seafood are the saturated fat. These fats have tendency to raise the level of cholesterol in the blood stream and heighten the risk of getting cardiovascular disease. so unsaturated fats are it comes from the most plant uh, um, most come plant fats are unsaturated poly unsaturated fats and mono unsaturated fat that helps in lowering the blood cholesterol they are also important essential fatty acid namely omega 6 and omega 3 the term essential means that the human body cannot produce it we must get these from our diet like omega 6 omega 
we uh, uh, did omega 6 and omega 3 can't produced uh, from our human body so we must get uh, it from our diet and the third one is the trans fat trans fat are a product of food manufacturing and are created by hydrogenetic less stable unsaturated liquid fats to solid solidify them hence they become the more self stable these process prolongs the life of processed food product matlab ye hai ki trans fat wo hota hai jo ki hame processed food se milta hai jo ki it raise your bad ldl cholesterol and have no place in healthy diet this is a chart of type of fat mono unsaturated polo poly unsaturated saturated trans so main sources are mono unsaturated mono unsaturated hame kahan se milta hai aur poly unsaturated se aur unsaturated kis se milta hai hame animal source se processed food se so mono and poly has come under unsaturated fat so olive oil canola oil peanut oil cashew almond peanut and most other nuts avocado to inki form liquid hai corn soybean safflower and cotton seeds oil fish and effect on cholesterol level lower ldl and rate raises hdl lower ldl and raises hdl saturated whole milk butter cheese ice cream red meat chocolate coconut coconut milk and coconut oil it can be solid and trans most margarines vegetable shortening partially hydrogenated vegetable oil deep fried chips many fast food most commercial baked goods it can be in solid or semi solid it it raises ldl and lower hdl and the last part of the macro nutrient is water what is water water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen element in the ratio of 2 is to 1 water may not always considered as a macro nutrient but it is needed by our body in larger amount it serves as a transporter of nutrients to cells and remover of waste through urine it also crucial for control of body temperature ionic balance of the body and as well as the body meta metabolism it has a zero uh, calorie content content like it provide a no nutritional value of itself so water may not be always be considered as micronutrient therefore usda united state dietary association includes water as a part of macronutrients but unicef does doesn't 50% of the water we need come from the food we eat so uh, next uh, slide and the next chapter we will discuss in another class thank you so much